This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hi everybody, welcome to TRIF. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to call it. Uh, thank Rob, it's Friday, because I finally make it to Friday. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a variety kind of segment. It's only starring me. I mean because after all I'm the only person really on this channel but what this is going to be is it's going to be a bunch of quick hit things at the end of the week we're going to talk about the week that we just had uh, real quick I'm going to show some quick things so it's going to be a variety of all our segments kind of in, in almost like one minute intervals so you know like we'll talk about a war game and then we'll talk about uh, maybe something I'm going to be painting. We'll talk about what we did during the week. It's a kind of a variety and a week wrap up. And as we get ready to head into the weekend, kind of talk about what we got planned for the following week and hope to accomplish. And I think it's a neat little way to kind of fit in some of the Warhammer stuff, some of the things that everybody doesn't really want to watch in a one minute segment where you can kind of just. Well, maybe a person wants to watch this, maybe uh, somebody wants to watch that, we'll read some letters, and so forth, and so on. So, it's going to be a segment that's going to be a little bit different. Um, you're going to have a lot of say of what goes into this segment. Uh, we, we would love to have your letters, uh, videos, anything that you want to send for this particular se uh, segment. I think it's something to end the week on a positive note before we do our live plays for the weekend. So we'll be talking about painting, we'll be talking about war games, we'll be talking about miniatures, and we'll be talking about board games, and of course Miniature Market, and the videos that we did for the whole week. And squeeze it all into a nice little 10 minute segment. Uh, that way, you know, after 20 minutes it's kind of a waste to be honest with you. So. Without further ado, let's just do, do some quick hit things this week since we're just introducing this. So, let's go take a look at the very first thing that we're going to talk Now, about. the first thing I want to hit in the first segment, of course, or piece of segment, or segue, or I don't know. I guess it's a segment within uh, TRIF, is, of course, I want to talk about some Warhammer stuff. Okay, and 40k stuff, Necromunda stuff mostly. Now, I had gotten this from um, a miniature market, so I'm very excited about this. This is the Orlocks. They look really cool, and I'm very excited about getting those together and getting them to the table. I've been meaning to get this game going for a little while. It, we've kind of fallen behind a little bit, but now that we're all caught up, we actually have the Bad Zone Delta 7. So we're going to be taking a look at that in, in the coming weeks and seeing how this all plays together. And of course, you have to have the Gang Warfare and Gang Warfare 2 segments. Oh, actually, I showed you the Gang Warfare 2 and the Gang Warfare 1 segment. So I'm going to read through all this, get us all caught up, and we're going to do some live plays of this, as well as show you how to paint everything up and do some really cool scenery for what is like one of my favorite games of all time it's 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 definitely in the top 50 there's no doubt about it so necromunda coming soon from games workshop coming here to the rob oren channel let's keep moving now adding a little bit of a war component to this is a game that is really underrated and doesn't get a lot of talk and I really think it's good because, as you know, I love war games. But when you can get something where you can get your kids involved, okay, and that's Aris Victor, the one-hour war game. Very simplified, very easy. It's a great beginner starting thing, especially if you have some kids that are younger. Uh, according to here, 13 plus, I think you can, I, honestly, with the way this plays, I think you can start at 11. And I think it's something that's so simple that teaches just basic strategy. There's no histor history behind it. They are just, it's basically red versus blue. As simple as that. And I believe there's a third army, which there are some, some creatures in there that can cause some bedlam. Uh, but a lot of fun, power armor, 
you learn how to how to use artillery and infantry and i think it's a, just a great start and if you can find this at miniature market i i suggest that you get your hands on it or find it on ebay whatever you can find it this is one that should be in your collection and that will be making a big difference for you if you're trying to bring somebody into the war game genre so ours victor there's our little war game for the week let's keep moving now i like to show some miniatures at some point but today i want to show you something that that is going to be part of our infinity thing and it's something that we've been looking forward to doing for quite some time is the infinity build now the best thing about what i have here is it fits in perfectly with infinity if you want to have some laser gates and try to um uh, basically hem people in and this you can get at miniature market and I always felt that this was kind of a really cool steel because you can just glue these together you don't even have to glue them together you can just you can put them in here and they are electronic fences and as you can see you have that that really great plastic in there that you can actually block off and I have a bunch of these so you can almost have like a death fight if you wanted to in some some instance they also have corners corner pieces so you can actually arc it so you can like this could be a corner piece this could be a straightaway to another straightaway to a corner piece so you can make almost like a a complete block if you had to very very cool very really neat and of course resin and don't forget to, if you're going to get this make sure you wash it before you paint it you don't want to paint this because let's be honest uh, the color is really what makes it and gives you that la laser fence feel so it's something that i really think is neat and it's and it's only a couple bucks at, at, at miniature market tiny terrain is killing it and look for them at origins and gen con this year they are going to be bringing it home and bringing it home big time and you guys are going to want to be a part of this so there we go a little bit of miniature stuff here on trif let's move and move to the finale and get on out of here for this week well there you have it folks just a little bit of taste of what's going to be on this and how we're going to do things uh, of course we'll be doing more stuff from the table and stuff like that everybody that was expecting legion yesterday uh unfortunately uh, due to uh my mother-in-law's illness and i i didn't get back to late uh bella went for her appointment uh, so this week, I think you, we had a video every single day, so I don't see where we're slowing down. I think we're just going to really tighten up and take our top fives. There was also a mistake I made uh, when I said the uh, Imperial uh, Assault stuff, top five. I still want you guys to do that. There are only five expansions, but I wanted them ranked. Um, you can add in anything you want, maybe the smaller expansions too. But before that, I asked people to rank their uh, miniatures. And of course, I gave away the Imperial Assault one ahead of time. Well, that's okay. That just means next week you get two top fives. So, and only one will have one that'll keep going forward. Uh, so, we're, we're going to make sure that we cover both of them. I, thanks for all the letters that everybody sent in. I really appreciate it. We have a lot of things to cover. We did some really neat stuff this week. We took a look at Next, uh, next War. And of course, we took a look at Legion. Uh, you know... A game that I'm still on the fence with. I talk with uh, Pete Shire, my good friend who is a big Star Wars fan. And as a Star Wars fan, he's very excited about it. But what you're going to find is on Monday, once we get out of Easter weekend, um, we are going to be painting Legion. And we're going to do it all in one shot. And you'll know how to paint it easy, quick, and fun. And that's what we do best here. We have a lot of things coming uh, next week. I think you're going to enjoy Warm Pieces this week as we're going to be taking a look back at some, some things. And, of course, we're going to be reviewing a couple of games that I think you're really going to enjoy. And um, probably this weekend, a live playthrough of an Aventura, I think, possibly. And maybe a war game uh, solo. So... I'm excited doing it, and I can't wait to see you guys this weekend. That's it for this week's, and it basically wraps up all our week. So until next time, it's your old pal Rob. There's only one me, and uh, that's all the world really needs. 
We don't need two of me. Until next time, I'm Rob Warren. We'll see you soon.